Hey, howdy there again, folks. Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. Sampler platter video. A series of videos I've been doing for a little while now. We're going over there to try food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink stuff, then I talk about the stuff. I let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that I'm going to go over there and put in my gullet. And based upon what I have to say and your reaction to my video, if you so choose to do similarly, not identically, hopefully, because, I mean, this isn't somebody you need to be imitating, but, you know, your own interpretation, maybe you go over there and try the item for yourself. Just saying. Man, the truck, been in the truck, doing stuff, and uh, went on over there, just the last review that I just did, as long as I did this, Mexican pizza from Taco Bell. While I was at Taco Bell, I got the Mexican pizza combo. Came with a drink, right? So I'm going to review the drink. Ha ha ha. But not just any drink, folks. No, sir. Because as I mentioned in my previous video, the time I'm doing this, I've been awake for like 33 hours. Like, no joke. It's a real thing. I know I seem like super wired and animated. That is my brain trying desperately desperately to not just pass the fuck out so like i have to be a little bit wacky a little bit high energy right now it's weird because like it's a real thing for me like when i'm super tired like some of my best ideas come out and shit like my brain goes into like a weird it's almost like okay like when you're over there and like if you remember if you're around my age or so it was like 3d images that uses like 3D painting and stuff. I can never get the damn things to work. But like you you go over there and like you'd like squint and you'd kind of like, you know, blur half your vision, do the stuff, and you'd like enter into this weird like vision purgatory state where you could go over there and see 3D items. That's what like my brain does when it hasn't had a lot of sleep. It like kind of go, it's like sort of in between consciousness and unconsciousness. And it's like, <laughs> so that's where I'm at. And to that effect, folks, boom, this is what I got. This isn't just any coffee drink. This is the Cinnabon Premium Iced Coffee. It's a relatively new item. I've seen it on the menu for a little bit now. Uh, I've never been super inclined. Like, it's one of those things I've seen. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll give it a shot. Typically, if I go to Taco Bell, I get myself a freeze to drink because I love Taco Bell freezes. They're one of my favorite frozen drinks. I'm a man who loves frozen drinks. But today, what with the 33 hours of not having slept, something coffee related seemed appropriate. So I don't know what to expect from this other than I'm guessing it'll taste cinnabon -y. I mean, who doesn't enjoy that? And uh, hopefully it'll keep me awake so I can do a couple more reviews and then most likely fall asleep some point in between my truck and my house. Let's see how it tastes, folks. Okay, it's not bad. Yeah, it's got it's got a cinnamon taste to it. Um, now what I say the problem is anytime you label something Cinnabon like man like Cinnabons are such a special thing like they're horrible for you but like they're this amazing wonderful like ooey gooey hot amazing thing and like just having something be like kind of sweet and cinnamony doesn't really perfectly reflect what a Cinnabon experience is. I actually remember, and this is very true, this was years and years ago. I was working at a bakery at the time, well, supermarket, and I worked in the bakery section, and uh, they had a Cinnabon, like, coffee drink that you could get. It came in these little cans. They haven't sold it in a million years. I was a big fan of that. So this kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Like, it's not overly sweet, but it's, you know, it's a coffee drink, but they've done what I personally like with coffee drinks, which is they've added in enough crap that it hardly tastes like coffee anymore. Because although I do enjoy coffee-related things, coffee just by itself 
not the biggest fan, personally. Like, black cup of coffee? No, thank you. But if you cram enough sugar and stuff into it, sure, why the hell not? In this case, even though it's not a super sweet drink, it is kind of sweet. It does have the cinnamon hit, although it's a fairly mild. Like, it's, it's very evident, but it's not like, you know, like proper cinnamon here. You get like a heat to it and everything. It's nothing like that. It's a fairly mellow cinnamon, and basically it takes over where, like, the bitterness of the coffee would normally be. Like, you can almost taste the bitterness. Almost. And, like, right as it gets on that precipice where, like, it's going to lean into the bitter, that coffee typically does, instead it's kind of, like, mildly sweet and you get, like, a mild uh, um, cinnamon taste. Like I said, does it particularly make me feel nostalgic for a Cinnabon? No, because again, a Cinnabon is really a whole thing. But it's an okay cinnamon coffee drink, especially with it being from Taco Bell. It's not typically an item that you would think of. I mean, usually if you're going for like coffee stuff in the morning, or whenever you get coffee stuff, Either McDonald's, Dunkin' Donuts is a really popular one, which, by the way, a little offshoot ramp here real quick to any folks who might. I'm not a huge coffee guy, as I mentioned. I do understand a lot of people. It's part of their morning ritual. Folks, if you go... If you go to the Taco Bell... No, I'm sorry. If you go to the Dunkin' Donuts... All right, you want to get your morning brew. And you see a line of cars that's literally out into the road, let it go. Stop fucking going over there and screwing up traffic, okay? Just let that one go. Okay, and I'm not even just saying this to be like burr, 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 coffee drinkers. No, because it's the same damn thing. Like, let's say I want to go to Culver's, right? Or Portillo's since I live in Illinois. By the way, if, you, if you're not from Illinois... And you've heard about the vaunted Portillo's. It's not, it, it's good. It's not anything super spectacular. If you come to Illinois, ask Illinois friends or family. If they, for, if they tell you Portillo's, they're full of shit. Because there's so many better places that do what Portillo's does better. I'm just saying, that's just a little offshoot thing. But anyway. If I go to a place where I know it's going to have a big line and I see a big line, I just, fuck it, man. If, I, if I'm going to go to Culver's and I see a huge line, fuck it, I'll go to Arby's. Because I ain't dealing with that nonsense. But it's not just an issue of convenience, okay? If you literally are blocking traffic, let it go, please. Just saying. But, yeah, that's kind of what I'm talking about with this. It's a Taco Bell coffee item. Not something you'd usually expect from them. It's pretty good for what it is. Is it comparable to like something that you would get from Starbucks or from Dunkin' Donuts? No. Those are definitely going to be way, way better. But, again, Taco Bell. It, it is what it is. And for what it is, it's okay. It's nothing spectacular. It's nothing I'll probably get again. But... You know, going off like whether or not I would recommend it. If you're going through Taco Bell in the morning, you need some coffee in your life. Sure, it's an option for you. I'm not going to say it's the best option, but maybe you're over there. You're about to go to Dunkin' Donuts. You see there's a million cars. You remember what the hell this guy was saying on the video. You're like, fuck that, man. I'll just go, you know, to the next place up. Maybe it's Taco Bell. They've got you covered. Again, it's not the best option, but it's there. That's Taco Bell in a nutshell, basically. So overall, it's fine. I'm still feeling a little bit drowsy, but then again, 33 hours of not sleeping. This isn't going to help that much. So anyway, folks, that's pretty much it for this particular review. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, an amazing rest of your year. You could go over there and have your truly Cinnabon-tastic rest of your life. And I'm talking the real Cinnabon experience, okay? 
that Cinnabon experience that it's so good it's sinful. Okay, like you know that you've done a bad thing. But you don't care because it's that good. Final two things for you folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity to the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But you know, we can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. Okay? You're not going to succeed all the time. You're going to have moments. You're going to stub your toe and you're going to curse up to high heaven and there might be little kids around and then you go over there and get dirty looks from their parents and you can't shield your kids from the world folks okay i'm just saying i say as somebody who has been almost thrown out of an applebee's for going over there and swearing there happened to be kids around wasn't intentional to be fair me and my friend were at we were seated first those people were seated near us, and there were plenty of other seats available. Oh, but, you know, hey, that was me way, way younger with a lot better sleep habits, I'm sure. No, that's not true at all. If anything, it was worse because I had endless energy, so I just played video games all night. Oh, but anyway, uh... But yeah, mitigate the level of assholishness in your life. I very nearly passed out there. Not even kidding. <laughs> Got to keep the momentum going, folks. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Maybe you're going to go over there. You're going to find a way to get proper Cinnabon flavor into a coffee drink. You'll spend countless sleepless nights toiling over it grinding up Cinnabons, you know, into a blender and mixing it with coffee till eventually you finally do it and you create the perfect ambrosia that is proper Cinnabon coffee. And you unleash it onto the world and we all live in an eternal Cinnabon-flavored paradise with a lot of diabetes. <laughs> Oh, or conversely, you could do something else entirely like, um, oh, I don't know. It's a, it was a thing you could do. You know, you could go back, you could go over there, take some online courses and prove yourself as a person. Meh. Bye. <laughs>